congratulations on the film. Let's talk about spectacle. Let's talk about finding the human being, or the character, at least the Navi, within the concept of spectacle. How do you not be overwhelmed by everything that's taking place in front of you? Um, we were so young when it happened, and I think being the in both of our first film experience, you have you don't have much to compare it to. So it just it is, and as much as we're having fun, so are the OG cast members, and because they were as hardworking, or even more hardworking than we were, it added a sense of calm and ease on set. And yeah, like um, there's the idea that like abstract concepts are often more feel more real than they actually are, and the mundane can sometimes feel supernatural. And sometimes on set, it'll be the most mundane thing that you then get stressed about. But actually, the whole then abstract concept of Avatar, way of water coming out, actually feels kind of normal. Which and you, as long as you breathe in. Ooh, Sorry, fuck, breathe. Fuck that. No pun intended. No pun intended. I hate myself. I hate myself. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Speak, go home. Speak, <laughs> speaking, speaking of breathing and doing press. Jason, you've got lovely hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> Speak, speaking of breathing and going on this, let's talk about some of the physical aspects that might not be understood. Because we're seeing the finished product, yeah. but we might not know what you guys actually went through. So we had sure. to create a Metcayena swimming movement that hasn't been done before. Mm -hmm. So the Metcayena, they swim with their hips thrusting left and right. And because of that, we they also swim faster. Mm -hmm. But in reality, like, Jamie swims faster than me. So I was wearing a jetpack mm -hmm. while I was swimming. Oh, yeah, you were, yeah. That, that's what that thing was, yeah. So, and just how much of it was actually underwater versus being... Uh, um, sort of on some sort of set or wires or any of that stuff. I mean, no you're wires. Like, exactly. You're absolutely underwater all the time. And, and getting that, not to sort of jump no, on my own good. question, as an avid scuba diver, what was, oh. what was that experience like about sort of living underwater and feeling that sense of buoyancy and the sense of weightlessness? Yes, mm. I love that you know so much about it because I think that's important. And I'm excited for audiences to see this film and get, get curious about the environment we have. Mm -hmm. Go scuba dive. Go and experience what this world has to offer. In Pandora, we, we're going to expand it. And I think that's going to be fun for our audiences to see. Yeah. Doing, doing free diving was literally my first ever experience of like an idea of like meditation or taking a moment of like wellness. I was such a hyperactive child before uh, being 16 and doing free diving for the first time. Um, yeah, like you said, that weightlessness, that transcendence is a beautiful feeling. Yeah. And I know it got a little bit competitive. I know Kay Winslet has gone on record about her being psychotic about it. Yeah. But did you really? guys? Well, just no, the know, seven and a half minutes of whatever No, she but did. I, I just, she never acted that way. So mm. I think it's so interesting that she was low key competitive yeah. about the rock hole. Not to you. She came up to me and went, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> did she? <laughs> yeah. Are you for real? Yeah. I love that. Because it was but on a big time. It was like on I will screen. say, I got six minutes 30, and dude, I was like, dude. That's amazing. They, Thank did, they you. did amazingly well. A lot of like the young guys were going, Oh, you're gonna be a freaking burst and then you went and killed it, yeah. Oh, I think it's because I didn't care what they had to say. <laughs> so and here we are, we see the end result, you see all the spectacle. Can you sort of get your minds around it between the sort of physical experiences there and the virtual experiences that we sort of see on the on the big screen? If you it can if you can still see those moments but experience Avatar as a film rather than uh, something you went through. Well, they're all there. I mean, it's performance capture. Every tear, every yell, every movement is completely ours, along with, you know, incredible stunt performance as well. So for me, I feel like I'm watching all the hard work into fru fruition. Hmm. I, I had the weird experience of watching it first time with you guys. Of It's like... I feel like I've seen that before, but obviously you haven't. It's the first time seeing it. But it's testament to James Cameron's process of being able to allow his actors the idea of being able to access the world in a weird way. I mean, obviously it sounds nuts. It's a definite abstract concept to have, to have seen the alien world we're acting in, but it feels accessible in a weird way. It's an acting intensive like no other, and I think doing it at such a young age formed us to be very... In interesting actors, you know, not many people have that experience of performance capture, and it's a very giving experience. And Jim gifted us with so much intel and was so giving that I'm I'm proud of what we did. We have to wrap, but oh. a movie that got you into doing you doing this. Oh wow, well, good question. Oh, we always knew, so this is hard for us. Um, a movie that got me. I think. Okay, wait, wait. Seeing a movie that got me into doing this. There, there's none because I always knew I wanted to do it, like ever since I was a baby. 
But I will say, when I saw A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, I thought about that movie for a week. And I was like, if I can get to a point where I can make someone feel something even after they watch it, I will be very proud of myself. Good choice. Thank you. You should watch the original as well as the original stars. There's, 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 yeah, there's, 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 there's three yeah, others? Yeah. No way. Um, uh, uh, Wings of Desire was a film I watched just before getting Avatar. And there was a weird sort of, well, there's an angelic, transcendent-like quality to that film that uh, we were talking a lot about thematically in Avatar. So. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> Thank you.